Mm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you know that the main videos that I've been uploading are here videos. However, just want to let you guys know real quick that the content on my channel will be changing a little bit just so that I can be able to upload videos more often. Being that I don't spend much time on my hair anymore because I just don't have the time, um, I decided that I'm going to record more videos that are pertaining to what's actually going on in my life right now. Um, and that way it's easier for me to pull out the camera and film a video because it's something that I'm currently working on that I'll be doing anyways or um, is easy to record and edit. So I'll be doing more motherhood videos, sharing more videos about things I learn, tips, more food videos because I cook a lot. We cook a lot in my house. So uh, I might as well pull out the camera and record that. So I, if you're subscribed to me because of my hair videos, do not unsubscribe because <laughs> they will still be coming, just not as often. And if you're subscribed to me just to support my channel, thank you and I hope you enjoy the videos that will be coming along. So let's hop right into this video. This is something I just wanted to share being that it happened to me recently. So if you follow me on my quick disclaimer, excuse me, I am a little under the weather. I don't know when last I've been sick, but a couple days ago, I woke up feeling like this. Anyways, if you follow my uh, business page at Gemstylistic on Instagram or Facebook, you would see that I uploaded a post a couple days ago stating that I found out that one of the products I've been using on my son since he was born uh, changed their ingredient list and they added a, a ingredient that is not as natural. Well, it's not natural and it actually is toxic and carcinogenic. Carcinogenic meaning that it is a cancerous or cancer causing ingredient or has been linked to cancer in some sort of way. That product was his baby wash. From the time my son was born, I've been using Shea Moisture, Argan Oil, and Chamomile Baby Wash. I think that's what it's called. I've been using that since he was born because it was the only thing that I could actually use on his skin and not irritate it. A couple months ago, I went to repurchase it, and I don't repurchase this often because I buy them two, three bottles at a time. Usually, I don't read the ingredient because this is something I've been using on my son since he was born. He's one now, so I usually don't even read the ingredient. I just pick it up and go. However, for some reason that day, I decided to look at the ingredient list again. And I noticed an ingredient that I didn't see in there before called Phenexi Ethanol. So I hear trying to figure out if I've been missing it and it's always been in there or is it something new that they're doing to their formula. So uh, I put the bottle back on the shelf. First, I took a picture. I put the bottle back on the shelf and I left and I was like, you know what, I'm going to just start making my own baby wash because I have the ingredients at home, being that I want to start offering a liquid body wash on my Etsy shop, so I might as well start with him. I went home and the first thing I did is look at the bottle I had home because I still had the bottle home. It wasn't completely empty yet. Like I thought, that ingredient, Phenexi Ethanol, was not in it. I was like, wow why would she moisture add this ingredient in their baby wash now i am familiar with phenexi ethanol because when i was looking up preservatives to use in my products because i do make and sell natural skincare products phenexi ethanol is one that i came across and the reason why i decided not to use it is because of what i found the information i found on it being they said it's a skin irritant a lung irritant it's harmful and it's carcinogenic so I didn't want to use something like that in my natural products. However, a lot of natural product companies actually use Phenexi Ethanol. And that is because Phenexi Ethanol is formaldehyde and paraben free. And most preservative has formaldehyde and parabens in it. And if you're a natural product, you want to be able to say that your product is formaldehyde and paraben free. So using Phenexi Ethanol allows them to still market their product as formaldehyde and paraben free However, there are toxic ingredients in Phenexi ethanol that are just as bad as parabens and formaldehyde. That was my reason for being upset about you know, Shea Moisture adding it in their products and I'm actually very disappointed about that because I used to swear by Shea Moisture products and although I don't buy their skin products anymore because I do make my own, I still did use their um, hair products and now it just makes me wonder how many of their products are they adding this this ingredient to now. And I did some research. I started reading the ingredients for a lot of natural 
product companies and a lot of them use phenexate ethanol and it's actually really sad because as someone who makes and sells natural products i want to make sure that my products are as natural and as toxic free as humanly possible and being that there is better option for preservatives than phenexate ethanol i don't see why as a natural product company you want to put this in your products especially baby products and products for mothers like it just should not be in there you know it it clear i like i was doing my research and it literally says that it is very harmful if swallowed inhaled or absorbed into the skin especially for nursing mothers and infants so why put that in a baby body wash it doesn't make sense anyways that is when i decided that i'm going to make my own baby wash this is it here uh, we've been using it for a while so it's kind of low so um this is like the third bottle, but the first two bottles were like little two ounce and four ounce bottles because I was trying to, you know, get a hang with my formula and I've been tweaking it. So once I felt comfortable with the formula I came up with, I made a bigger bottle, which is this. I'm going to take a picture of the ingredients and paste it on the screen so you guys can see everything that's in it. However, just so that you know, the surfactants that I use are coconut derived so it's very mild surfactant surfactant meaning it's the cleansing agent in the soap so it's uh it also has aloe vera leaf juice in it sunflower oil glycerin chamomile extract beet sugar extract glycerin and beet sugar extract are both cumectants that draws moisture to the skin it has oat powder and for the thickener it has a xanthan gum so the reason why it looks like this is because of the chamomile and calendula infused distilled water along with the oat powder so you know some might think it's not really appeasing to the eye in terms of the color however it it works great <laughs> and is natural and toxic free. The preservative that I use is an EcoCert natural preservative. EcoCert meaning, well, EcoCert is is something on its own. Is not a part of the FDA and you know any cosmetic company. EcoCert they they basically review ingredients and make sure that it's natural and toxic free. And once something is EcoCert approved, you can use it in organic and natural product and it can be labeled organic. So if you like, you can do more research on EcoCert approved ingredients and how that whole system works. I am very big on EcoCert ingredients and if you're EcoCert approved, chances are I prefer to use you because I know that you've been examined outside of the FDA and outside of any other cosmetic agency. No, EcoCert won't tell you like, yes, this is toxic. It don't matter what percentage you use it at. <laughs> By all means, feel free to do your own research. Feel free to correct me if you think anything I'm saying is wrong. I'm always willing to learn more. Yeah, this is the baby wash that I've been using on my son and it's not available on my Etsy shop yet. I want to continue using it on him and doing more testing and tweaking my formula just to perfect it. But it should be available around November, December. If you want one before then, you can always send me a message, a private message on any of my social media platforms or email me via my business email at gemcelistic at gmail.com. All of my information is in, this, in the description box below and um, you can get one that way. The next product I decided to make is called my Baby Bum Butter. And and this is for the baby's bottom uh, to soothe any irritation they would get from pampers or the acid in their pee. Uh, if you don't know, a lot of these commercial brand pampers has tons of toxic in it and it also can cause the baby's skin to become irritated or <clears throat> cause a diaper rash. So uh, from the time my son was born, he's had a good 3-4 baby rash. I've always had to use some kind of natural diaper cream. I haven't had to use it in a while because he hasn't had any diaper rash in a while, but this has been doing a good job at preventing it. So I'm going to continue to use this and um, test it out, but the ingredients are natural, pure, there's no water content in this, so there's no preservative in it. That's how I wanted it because of the baby's bottom and private area being so delicate. I want everything to be as natural and, and pure as possible. So the ingredients in this is shea butter, sunflower oil infused with calendula, uh, coconut oil, cocoa butter, olive oil, olive wax, glycerin, vitamin E, arrowroot powder, oats powder, and bentonite clay. So I'm going to take a picture of this as well and put it on the screen so you can see for yourself. And again, if you would like to try one of these, you can DM me on any of my social media platforms or send me an email. So, um... 
yeah that was the reason for that post I uploaded on my business Instagram a couple days ago and uh, I just wanted to share with other mothers so that if you have natural in natural baby products that you are using on your little one and you haven't read the ingredients I encourage you to read the ingredients no matter how natural or organic a product claims to be always read the ingredients and it's not always easy to understand what's in a product because of the guidelines companies have to follow in terms of their label a product might have shea butter in it, but because they have to use the INCI word, it might be some scientific word that you not you do not understand. In fact, I might um, record a whole nother video to help you understand what's in your products, because so, that's a whole different topic right now. Yeah, always, always, always read the ingredients, read the label, read everything, do your research, do your research. Don't even take what I'm saying, just do your own research, because you will always find out something maybe someone else didn't find out. That's about it for this video. If you you don't know I do make and sell natural skincare products on my Etsy shop <clears throat> and the link for that is in the description box below and if you haven't already follow me on my business page at gems holistic and my personal page at ja underscore impress underscore and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you guys will see me in my next video peace and you deserve it all oh, This is perfect And it's the magic And everything you do Isn't that nerds Perfect